out on the mat for the first time in well since NCAA's. Uh, man, it was it was good. It was a good experience. Um, you know, I needed it just to have that. Uh, you know, just to remember what it's like again to wrestle, uh, to get out there in tough competition. Uh, you know, you can train as long as you want, but uh, if you don't get out there and compete, you know, you, you can forget. Uh, you know, the competition and how tough it really is. So uh, that's the main thing I got out of it is just, you know, just a little reminder about what, uh, where, where you stand and what you got to do again to be back on top. I'm, obviously, I'm one of the last people that should be talking to you about weight, but uh, Coach has, has mentioned the fact that that's been an issue for you the last couple of years. I mean, how is it just a mindset thing, or is it what has that struggle been like for you? Um, definitely a mindset thing, and uh, definitely mental, but it's also physical. Most of it's probably physical, um, just because of our off season, how big I get, and uh, coming back into the regular season and losing weight. Um, I've just kind of had a pattern over the years that I had to break this year uh, of making not making weight until uh, January. So it was good, uh, but we got it under control now and ready ready to go. How important do you think it is to to kind of get into that weight now and get you know, hopefully two months before the postseason rather than last year where you just thrust thrust into the postseason once yeah. you got to, to weight? Oh, uh, one hundred percent. It's definitely nice to be able to settle into. Uh, to 174 instead of uh, you know last two weeks or last three weeks of uh, the, comp the the year, but um, definitely helps a lot. You know that's the biggest key with uh, college wrestling is learn how to adjust the one hour weigh ins. Um, so being at 174 for this last couple months is going to really help me. What is 174 a little bit easier for? Because it was 65 last yeah. year, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. 74 is a little easier. It's just uh, 65. I got. I got to actually shrink my body a little more. So, uh, you know, they're about the same toughness to make weight. It's just one takes a little longer than the other uh, in order to get down, so. You've had a rather up and down career once getting, once mm -hmm. you came to Oklahoma State. What's, what's this journey been like for you? Um, you know, um, it's been a good journey. Um, you know, it's, D Division One wrestling is not easy. Um, no one said it was gonna, it is gonna be, but it's, it's also really fun. Um, you can make it fun or you can make it really tough on yourself, and I've done a little, a little of both. Um, I think I've made it a little more fun on myself towards the end of the year. Uh, you know, obviously not last year, but uh, my freshman and sophomore year. Um, but, you know, it's tough if, if you uh, try to cut corners or anything. Um, if it comes to competition, winning with your weight, um, you know, it all kind of falls together. So you can make it a really great experience or really bad, and I did a little both. So um, there you go. You mentioned the mental aspect, the fact that this is it. Did mm -hmm. that, that kind of motivate you this year, the fact that this is the last Great last motivation, yeah. Uh, motivates me a lot to know that I only got one more shot at this thing. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's a really good feeling, too, to know that, uh, you know, after this you're done. But then, you know, it's a bad feeling, too, that, you know, you never get to wrestle and for step out and go grab again either. So um, it's got as good as bad, but, uh, you know, mainly good just because um, I've been here for four years now. So, you know, I'm ready to give, it, give my all one more time. Speaking of getting out on the, the mat at Gallagher Iba, you'll get to do that uh, mm. Sunday for the first time in two two years at least. Yeah. I mean, what's what's that mo moment going to be like for you being out there? Again? Um, it's going to feel really good uh, to get out there in a home, for, for a home crowd. Uh, I think it'll be really exciting just because I haven't got to wrestle in front of our home crowd in a while. Um, but I'm really fortunate that we have so many duels left uh, towards the end, second half of the season. So. Uh, you know, you'll be seeing a lot of me in duels, and something I uh, missed the first first round. What are some things you've noticed about this team in its first couple of months of the season? Um, you know, we got a lot of young guys and you know some old guys too, but I think we have really good chemistry. Um, we got a lot of leadership guys showing. Um, you know, picking up wins at scuffle. Um, you know, we had four or five guys rank first at the scuffle and only won one, so uh, it kind of shows you a lot of leadership there. You know, Nick and. Um, you know, Boo didn't get to wrestle. I have full confidence that he'd have won too. So uh, we got good, good team chemistry right now. We have guys falling leaders, and uh, you know, old falling young. So it's good. You, you feel like you have something to prove. Like it's the first time back on the mat at Gallagher I've been a couple of years, and the, this season will be it for you. Do you, do you feel like you have something to prove in the next couple of um, months? Yeah, I feel like I got something to prove to uh, myself, and uh, you know, I, yeah, to everyone actually. 
because uh, I know what I can do, and that's what I'm working towards is, uh, you know, the goals I know I can accomplish in the end. So, uh, sure, yeah, I got something to prove. Speaking of that, that chemistry, what's it been like for you not having Kate on the mat with him going down with a, another injury here in this college career? You know, man, that's, that's tough. Uh, again, that's college wrestling for you. You know, you never know what's going to happen or college sports. Uh, you know, it's rough, rough, especially having a guy of that caliber um, go out on our team uh, hurts. So, but Cade's, uh, you know, I hear good things. Um, hopefully we'll have him back. Um, I'm not sure yeah. where, where they stand with that, but, um, you know, I hope we get him back. He's really good. He's good? Yeah. yeah.